hi guys and welcome back to my channel so this video is just going to be really what's in mine and the baby's hospital bag so when i was a first time mum i felt like i had no idea what to put in my hospital bag i ended up just shoving a lot of crap in and had no idea what i was actually doing i never had a list of anything like that the first time i think nhs have a list actually on their website now but i can't remember that far along to see if I ever looked at it but I just added in a couple of things. Please do excuse my voice because I've been down in the cold for about three weeks now and it just doesn't seem to believe in me at all and it's horrible but let's just get into the deal. Start off with my hospital bag because that's not as interesting as the baby's clothes and things. So first thing you need is depending how you're going in to the hospital if you're going in for plan cesarean or if you're going into just labour normally what I would recommend is a nightie or even a top if you're going into labour naturally because you can't wear any bottoms or pants but I just got this one this one's out of Primark and it was £5 and it was just it's just a real plain nightie and it says says sleep in but I have so I just I don't I don't have any idea how long I'm going to be in the hospital for when I had Eve Rose I was in the hospital for Three nights, I think it was, but that was because I had an infection in my blood and I was um, I was hooked up to all these drugs and antibiotics and things, um, and they couldn't let me go until that was gone. So I was in there for three nights, I think it was, and I was turning demented. I was crying every night, like the hospital ward was coming around saying I wasn't getting home because I just, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of needles and things. I just don't really like hospitals. I think I just wanted to get home and just back to like I didn't obviously have a routine then because it was my first child, but back to kind of just normal and being kind of in a routine and trying to get a routine sorted for when we became home so I just um I can't remember how many pyjamas I took last time I think I didn't take enough and someone had to bring some up but this time I'm just taking two sets of pyjamas so just really a basic top I'm not breastfeeding so I don't really need to worry about um my tops being like easy to lift up or anything like that this is just a really strappy top, it was 2.50 out of Primark, just a really strappy top to put on um, and some black pyjamas. The only reason this, the only reason I went for black in the first pair is because, just in case, in case you leak because it is really, really easy to leak straight after having a baby because it's just gushing out if I'm honest. <laughs> it's the only way I can explain it. So I just got these ones, they're quite stretchy. Definitely get stretchy ones or size, size up as well because obviously you're going to be swollen as well and things like that. So I just got these black ones, I can't remember how much they were. I don't even have a tag on the ones anymore. Um, so I just got them out of Primark as well, I think they would have been like £6 or something. And then I got another set of pyjamas. These ones weren't dark but I just thought they were really nice so I bought them anyway. Because who doesn't love pyjamas? So they're just really flory ones. I prefer ones that are tight in at the bottom. I don't know why, it's just what I prefer. But yeah, so that's just jammies and then just another one of the basic tops to wear. So that's two pair of jammies and an 80 I'm taking. And obviously bras as well. I can't remember when I was in Weaver's. I can't even remember if I ever had a bra on, but... I just saw these on ASOS a couple of weeks ago and I was like, oh, they look really nice. Um, they're just really, no padding or anything, so they'll be really comfy. Um, but I did realise, actually, I think these are for breastfeeding as well because they've got, like, I don't know if you can see, but they've got, like, a clip that you can clip down and so that you're obviously still covered a little as well, so you, like, you can clip it on and clip it off, which is really handy, but obviously not really for me, but... They're really comfy. I have actually have actually wore one of them, but this one's put away for in my hospital bag. So another thing I got was full briefs, so gran granny pants is what I call them. Um, so I did decide to go for colour black once again because in case I leak, it's not obviously going to be as noticeable. They're going to go in the bin after it anyways, but I just got black anyway just to save the hassle. I did get two packs and I have just actually realised that these are both out of Primark, they were £2 each, just full briefs. Um, I realised that the colours were different, like I'll show you I meant to get different sizes but the colours are different, 
I don't know if you can see, but one says, they both say small, but one says UK 6 to 8 and one says 10 to 12, so it's obviously when they've redone their sizing. One must be like an old pattern or something. Let's, I'm going to take them out actually and see the size difference because I was planning to get a small, like the size I am just now and then upper size. Upper size because um, I'm going to be swollen down there for a while, like at my stomach area because of obviously the cesarean. And I just don't want it to be uncomfy. I want them to be really baggy. So I got a bigger size and then a couple of days after, when I get home or something maybe, um, I might it might go down a bit more so that I can have these ones. So that the ones aren't, like I'm not, because I remember after these rows I went up a size. And then like two or three days after having, having her, I had to like start rolling the pants. <laughs> like so they would sit like on me because they just kept falling off. You know, um, but I'm just going to check these sizes out, it's just 6 to 8, and this one is the 10 to 12, right, so I'm going to show you the 6 to 8 first. I know, nothing fun about granny pants, is there? Um, so this is just what they look like, um, and then I'm going to see the 10 to 12, oh they're different materials, they, they look a lot smaller, right, I'm just going to compare them, just the difference is literally... They pants stop there, so that's the difference in the sizes. Don't know if you're able to tell, but that's literally. I'll show you like this. Okay, so that's the difference in the sizes. So as well, um, I got some disposable pants. I saw these in Asda the other day, and I was like, oh, that's. I was like, that's such a good idea, actually. Just even like for straight after. So this is what they look like as the maternity disposable briefs. I got a small 10 to 12 and they're a five pack. They were only a pound or something I think. Um, but they're individually wrapped as well which is a good thing. I just thought maybe save wasting all the pants. Maybe just get these but I got them just to try them out and see how they are. Let's see what they look like. Oh my god. Looks like they, one of the hats you use. Like, one of the like, hospital hats. They don't even look that big. They literally just look like this. For a pound for five, that's actually, that's really good pricing. Um, but obviously, yeah, do, do just wear them and then bin them. So, these pads, I've just put these into my own bag because I didn't want to take a massive bag. I have any rows, I didn't really, I don't think I ever really wore breast pads, if I'm honest. Um, so, I got these made for mum's breast pads. Um, just these ones here. Um, I got these after, um, I got these before I had Eve rows and... I never actually used them, so that's why the box is so bashed. I never actually used them, so I'm going to use them this time round, I think. Um, but the thing I love about these ones is that, I don't know if you can see, but they have like a lot of breast pads that I've used before don't have anything to stick to your actual bra. So they always just like come out and fall everywhere. So these have like a wee sticky thing at the back, which is, um, which is a really good thing, so that they actually stick and they don't fall out and things like that. But yeah, so they, I think they were like a pound fifty, two pound, and you get forty in it. So I just have some socks. So I just got these ones. To be honest, they're out of the pound shop. I'm not gonna lie, they're out of the pound shop. Three pairs ankle socks, and then they're just ones I had sitting in my room. I prefer. Um, I am gonna obviously another thing you need in your bag is a pair of slippers. If and a house coat, if that's what you prefer. But personally, I don't prefer it because after having a rose. Um, I put on some cosy socks so it was cosy socks I wore the whole time I didn't ever wear slippers I took slippers and a dressing gown but I never wore them so I just thought they were kind of unnecessary but this time round um, I am taking socks because last time when I had Eve Rose I thought it was so much easier to like <laughs> this sounds so silly but I slid along the floor like I was sliding along the floor instead of walking and after having my cesarean I thought that was wasn't as sore as actually properly walking with my legs so I kind of just slid about the floor I know I probably looked like a crazy woman but that's what I've done to take well my hospital do provide pads but I thought I would just take some just in case because like you maybe feel better using your own but the hospital pads that are at my hospital are amazing Um, honestly they were so amazing I used them with rose and they were they're so thick and so good but these are just the ones I decided <coughs> to take this time round and it's just I got the night time ones this is just like for when I'm really really bad I just got two packs of these 
but not of. We'll just put one in my hospital bag. Not like a pound to pound at Yasta, which is all right. Of course, something to come out in. So, if you watch my boohoo haul, um, I will actually link it in the description in case you want to have a wee look. I did actually try this on. Um, this is just a super cosy. I don't even know what it's called actually. It's just a super cosy black jumpsuit, size eight. Just to come home in so that I'm comfy and I'm not like nothing sticking in or anything like that. I'm super excited to wear it. I wish I wore it before, but I'm keeping it in my hospital bag because I'm good. Toiletries I've just took dry shampoo. I've never actually used dry shampoo in my life, but I thought I would take it because I don't really plan to be in there for long enough to actually wash my hair or take a hair dryer or anything like that. I don't even know. I was thinking of taking my laptop um, to the hospital, but I don't even know if you're allowed to use that in the hospital. If anyone knows, can you like comment below if you're allowed to take like a laptop or anything that needs to be plugged into the hospital because I have no idea. Um, yeah, so dry shampoo, never used it before. Gonna give it a go. Obviously some deodorant, just at pound shop I think it was. I got a new toothbrush for the bag and I just got this wee, I got this wee tester in something. It's like a toothpaste tester. Just thought I'd take that as well and I got this. It smells actually really nice. Um, it's just like a body spray. Set the pound shop as well, in case you want to buy it. Um, I did um, decide I'm going to take makeup this time round. Last time round, after having these rose, I decided I wasn't going to wear any makeup. So I decided not to take any with me. But this time round, I've decided I'm going to wear makeup. Please don't excuse the state of... Excuse? Excuse the state of the bag, because these rose do all, all over it, and I don't really use bags for my makeup that often, because I'm always in my my makeup room doing my makeup so I don't ever really use a bag but this is just a hospital bag I'll show you guys what's in it it's nothing major I'm not going like OTT with makeup or anything so I've just got the primer I've got a bronzer I've got a foundation setting spray just a wee lipstick lip gloss pink colour like just a colour that's like really casual concealer some concealer some brows gel and just lip balm as well, lip balm is really good, especially if you're going into labour yourself because your lips do get really dry. I remember last time my lips got really dry and ended up having to, the hospital gave me like this lip balm thing. Um, and then just really, I've got in here as well, a couple of Kirby's and a bobble. This is just a pack that I found and just put that in, to be honest. <laughs> um, and then obviously the brushes to go with that. There's nothing major, I'll probably, I don't even know if I will do my makeup, it just totally depends. How I'm feeling afterwards. So now on to the baby one. All oh, the outfits are so cute. I'm taking to the hospital. First of all, I'm taking this pack of nappies. These are from Aldi. 24 pack. I think they were 90 pence. Just going to take them because that's the nappies I tend to use. Soft blanket. I'm taking a soft blanket and I'm also going to take a cellular blanket as well to swaddle in. I think that's called. I can't even remember if I'm honest. This was the first ever thing I had bought. When I found out I was having a little girl, so I thought I would just take it because it's so cosy and cute looking. So that's um, a blanket I'm taking. I've just put all these in. I just find it a lot easier. Um, these are just freezer bags. Um, and I've got on like the front what the product is. Just in case anyone else is wanting to get the baby ready. It's just a lot easier to find everything if they're in freezer bags. So this is... Um, so I decided I was going to take a first size vest, which is size up to £9. I don't know if we'll be able to wear it because Eve Rose was £9 for when she was born. She never got to get into any of these. She went straight into 0 to 3. But I'm going to take it anyway and see how it is. Also, I'm going to take a tiny baby, baby gross. This is up to £6. Just I'm just literally taking these because I'm not entirely sure what size the baby's going to be. I never got growth scans this time round. So I just decided I was going to take... A tiny baby, baby grow and vest, just in case it ends up being really small. I've also got two little hats in here as well, and two pairs of little socks. So these are the hats, they're really cute. Little hats, um, they're just for in the hospital. Um, one's knitted, I think actually, I think actually the hospital gave me that free rose, and I just thought I'd keep it and take it anyways. So then on to, we have two first size baby grows. And here, just really, as again, up to £9. So if she's going to fit into them, I have no idea. But I'm just going to take them, just in case she does. And then we've got three zero to 3 months vests. Because I know that Eva Rose 
it's very easy to three months so they're going to come in really handy because it'll probably end up just being wearing the ones instead of the ones but and I've also got one hat I've got two hats in here I'll show you this is just like a fluffy pom pom hat and this is like a knitted one um, I'm not sure what one she's wearing to go home but that's why they're in there because that's going to be her hat to go home in so I've got three zero three month baby grows um, and sometimes it comes in handy a lot of the time when you have baby grows that have um, like attachable mitts that are attached to the baby grow so they can't really pull them off um, but there is baby grows attached to these ones anyways so it's a three zero to three month baby grows I don't think I'm going to need any more than that and if I do I can just have someone go home to pick me up some more anyway I don't really want to overpack and then I'm carrying all this home and stuff do you know what I mean I've also got in here is two hand knitted cardigans honestly the most beautiful cardigans I've ever seen I can't thank my family enough for actually doing things like that for me um, so they're just two cardigans for really just when it's in the hospital or when people are visiting and things like that one's obviously to go home in as well so I'll just decide that when she's here so the, la the last thing like outfit wise is three outfits for going home well it's three outfits maybe put them in the hospital for visiting times and one outfit for going home so I'm just going to show you these these are adorable I'm not entirely sure if they're even going to fit because Eve Rose was big and these are up to one month <clears throat> outfits so it's just a wee pair of um I don't know if you can see but um they've got like wee polka dots on them they're so cute it's just a wee pair of pants trousers whatever you want to call it then a nice wee top it's dead cute it's honestly it's so adorable I can't wait I'm so excited and then we've got another one um another knitted outfit as well which is so adorable it's this one I don't know if she's going to be able to wear it but because it is up to one month but it's honestly the cutest thing I've ever saw so that's the wee top and then this is the wee trousers pantaloons I think they're called actually <laughs> um they're just so adorable and then this is my all time favourite Eve Rose. I bought this for Eve Rose and she only got to wear it once and it wasn't even coming home I think it was like the day we got home um, it was just so adorable and I thought I'd pack it again because Eve Rose never really got the wear out of it, it's so cute it's just so small and so cute honest, I hope she fits into it because it's honestly going to be the cutest thing ever and also I got a wee pair of socks in here that are really cute um, just a wee pair of frilly socks, they're actually so adorable I'm so excited, I can't wait to put like cute clothes on because once um, the kids get like older I feel like there's not a lot of cute clothes out there for them compared to when they're a baby bibs, I've got this 10 pack of bibs they're just the velcro ones um, they were only £3, three, three pounds. you can't really go wrong with that I got some super soft face cloths just a six pack because you obviously you'll need to clean the baby's face and things like that um, I did bring these cotton balls, Johnson's cotton balls because I remember after having Eve Rose I felt like I wanted to use water and cotton balls when I was in there because I didn't know if they would let me use baby wipes I'm not entirely sure if they do let you use baby wipes but I bought cotton balls anyway and I've also brought baby wipes just in case you know to use them but I will start off I think the first day or so using cotton wool and water just so that um, the baby's delicate skins alright so another couple of things I've got here is just this is just two different sets of um, wipes so I've got the Aldi ones Aldi's own make and as the zone make Little Angels ones just in case she doesn't agree like her skin doesn't agree with any of them I brought these little slippers as well they're so cute probably won't even get to wear them but they're just so cute they're like wee unicorns adorable also brought as well I can't remember if I brought them with those but naffy bags um, just loads of naffy bags in this wee bag um, I can't remember if I used them with Eve Rose or not but they do come in really handy so I would definitely recommend to pack them in your bag another wee thing I've got here is just a wee a wee soothe cream just in case I ever need it because I've got massive large ones in the house that obviously can be used on the baby once she comes home but just to take to the hospital because it's a wee miniature one I thought it would be so handy to just shove in also as well I've got a wee hairband but I don't know if she'll I don't even know if I'll put it on it I suppose but just like a wee cute little hairband like so 
don't know if she'll wear it, but we'll see. And obviously, last but not least, I have some dummies. These are nighttime ones, but I don't think it actually matters, does it? I just think it's I just think shops do it for to get more money because all it says here is the glow in the dark and that's it. That's all it's to do with night time. But I like these ones. These are the mam ones because that's the dummies and bottles I'm using. Um, but I do like these ones because they come in a wee sterilising box. Which is just the cutest thing ever and it's really easy and handy to keep your dummies in it. So these are just the ones I got. And that's everything from the hospital bags. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope I didn't talk for too long because... When I start talking, I really can't stop. But I do hope everyone enjoyed it. And please go out and check out another one of my videos if you did like this video. Please do give it a big thumbs up as well. Thanks.